Okay, so I got this question from this guy, and he wants to know how you put monsters on the field. So I guess you can walk up to them and uh, choose to fight them, or, you know, something like that. Uh, his name is Sprite Pomato, and so this should be pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, nothing too confusing. Uh, <coughs> okay, so let's get started. Uh, so, you know, you pick where you want to put your monster, where you want the monster to be standing, and uh, so I'm just going to put him right in front of where we're going to start. You just double click, and you pick the graphic, what you want the monster to look like. So, let's, like, say, I don't know, how about a giant tree? Alright, giant tree, sounds good, right? Alright, and in that same event page, <coughs> you're going to go to, or actually, you know what? see this tree I don't know if there's a uh, monster for it like so you have to check you have to go into the database go to enemies and see you know if the monster exists that you want to fight and if not you have to make it and it doesn't look like there is one okay so there's no so the monster you want to fight isn't in the list monsters to you know choose to fight so we're gonna have to make another one so we're gonna go to change maximum from 32 to 33, or just, you know, whatever your numbers are. You just need to make it one more. And we'll name it, uh, Tree. And double click the battler graphic. And we have to find the tree graphic. See, there it is, right there. So click OK. And you can set, like, its max HP, max SP, uh, all of its stats. And I'm not going to mess with things that. I'm just going to leave that alone. But now we have a monster that we can fight. And now it's still not going to be selectable, so we have to go to troops. And what you do in when you're telling it to fight, it's going to ask you to fight a troop. Well, the reason we didn't just go straight to troop is because you have to make a troop and put monsters in it. And the tree monster didn't exist, so we had to go make it. So anyways, uh, in troops, change maximum from 32 to 33, or just whatever your numbers are, one more than normal. Uh, the battle back, that's just for, like, testing, you know what I mean? Like, that's just for, it, that's not what it's going to look like. What that's going to look like is it's going to be wherever you are. Wow, that made absolutely no sense at all. This, this hole right here, that doesn't matter. Don't worry about that. Anyways, all right, so we're going to scroll down the list of monsters and find tree and click this little arrow, which puts them inside. All right, so now we have a nice little tree. And you can name it uh, Tree Battle. And apply and OK. Now we're going to go back to the tree graphic, double click it. And uh, in the list of event commands, we're going to add, you know, you can show text. You know, something like that. And then uh, on page 3, you go to Battle Processing, which is at the top and you, it asks you to pick your troop. And we're going to go all the way to the bottom and go to tree battle. And it gives you options like if you can escape, if you continue even when you're a loser, whatever. And click OK. And action button, you can make it where when you, you walk up to it, press enter, you'll fight it, or if you touch it, or just whatever. Anyways, OK, so let's play test this. And any day now. Any day now. All right, there we go. All right, so there's our little tree, and we're gonna go up to it, press enter, raw, raw, and you're in the fight with the tree. Die, tree. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Fuck, suck it. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Yeah, who's your daddy? Yeah, that's right, bitch. Anyways, and uh, if you want it to disappear after you kill it. Uh, go up here, you're going to click the event, uh, go to new event page, and the condition, uh, let's see, condition switch, turn the switch on, and we're going to name the switch monster dead. Click OK. And that's it. And uh, so after the battle processes, tree battle, you're going to add your, a new event, page one, control switches, monster dead is on. So what that'll do is after you've killed it, it will be gone. 
go to it, fight it. Oh, back for more. Man, it's gonna give up. Beat your ass. Yeah. Get some. Anyways. And now it's gone. The monster is dead. And it was kind of jerky. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in this recording because when you came back, it was still kind of there and then disappeared. Uh, you can to make it less jumpy after you kill it you can like make it move backwards and be like oh you killed me and then make it disappear or anything like that anyways hope this answered your question and uh yeah later